and I am from Chandler, Arizona, which is the Phoenix area, so pretty good metropolitan to be in. And I'm choosing picking for a living. I'm choosing to do this to pay my bills and make money. Let me give you a quick one minute bio about me to get a little familiar with me. Um, I've been like an, an entrepreneurial type self, you know, just self-employed type guy for most of my life. And then I got into the poker business and I just got, I started a really unhealthy lifestyle and I gained like 200 pounds and got on drugs, did all that, fell away from God and then had a reality check. God pulled a plug on all that. And in the past year and a half, I've cleaned up my life. I've lost 230 pounds. So I went from 430 and I'm about 195 now. And I still had some savings left over from the poker. And so I've been able to concentrate on getting my life back together in the last year and a half. And after watching the videos and watching Pawn Stars and Storage Wars, you know, of course, I, I'm in a position to where I need to figure out what I want to do to pay my bills and have a potential career in my hands and I chose this because I think the hunt is gonna be exciting I think it'll keep me busy it'll keep me learning keep my mind stimulated and it'll be a challenge and it'll be a lot of growth in the in the process of becoming a better picker and a buyer and reseller and and practicing business because of eBay and Craigslist and dealing with people etc and so that is why I'm choosing this and uh, I just want to say I am so thankful to all the people who post the videos and give me a free education an equivalent to what a, a medical student will get at med school I think that a picking student and a person who wants to go into a career picking can get on YouTube from guys like Redneck Picker and Marion Springs and all of them. Oh yeah, um, Castles and Attics. Oh, he's amazing. And all those guys. And you guys have so much knowledge and I'm out there blind. I'm basically, I'm one month into this dry. So one month, I'm a rookie newbie and it's been very interesting. I'm going to upload a couple videos that are going to show my hits and then my misses and things I've learned in my first month and um, and questions that I have but I thought I would just uh, show you my picks today my first Friday that's how much of a rookie I am my first Friday out you know I haven't even been going on Fridays and my first time to the local fleet to the flea market in Phoenix so I'm missing on so many opportunities but I got out there and try to make some moves and I'm still slower and I'm just it's not natural yet but I'm getting there so let me show you when I first walked in and I walked around for a little bit and I saw a guy unloading some stuff I noticed that there was some vintage stuff in the midst of all of these toys and everything in this one guy's tote and so what first caught my eye was this And I was like, wow, that's old. And I'm starting to look for older things now. And you can't really, you know, mistake for how old this is. And this is what is called, from my research, a miniature Bible. And it's from 1855. Let's see if you can see that. Yeah, there you go, 1855, and it does have some inscriptions in it, and I just, just I was like, wow, this is the first time that I've ever encountered something like this. So it has like that, and on the next page, it has some other inscriptions, and I'm like, ooh, that's exciting. And so it's a little miniature black leather Bible. It's in pretty decent shape, and he only wanted, I think, he said two dollars for this. And what I did was, is I just, I did a little package deal. And the other things I got from him were this. I'm like, wow, that looks old. And when I actually bought it, I noticed there was stuff in it. I didn't even look in, I didn't even look in it. 
I just put it in the package. And I'll open this in a second. It really wasn't too, you know, fun, like too great. But then I noticed this, and I noticed castles and attics always, you know, picking up stuff like this and saying, yeah, I'll put this on my shelf for $65. And I don't really know how to tell cast iron from bronze, from cheap crap. And I've been making a lot of mistakes, too, you know, thinking that, oh, this looks old and it's from TJ Maxx or something. And, but... And so I've been really, I'm trying to be mindful of not doing that. But I looked at this and I said, this is interesting. And it looks old. It's an elephant. And I don't, and here's the bottom of it. If you, if you can maybe help me out on what this is, that'd be great. I can't find examples of this exact thing on eBay, as I don't even know what material it is. I, although I've looked at brass and bronze elephants. It sounds like this when a key is hit against it. Does that help in identifying what it could be? What kind of uh, metal? Does this look like real age? Or or just, you know, done up like that? Let me get a really good close-up. It's, uh, I'd probably say it's about four pounds. If it's not, I'll put in the description an actual weight of this, but... Yeah, if you can help me out on what this is. And so in that, I got that. And then I noticed uh, a few older things. I just want to get in the habit of spotting older stuff and buying it for cheap. So I got this pipe, and it says uh, Golden Duke Dr. Grabo. I don't think it's worth a lot, but, you know. And then I got this. I don't even know what this is. Uh, it's old, though. What kind of metal is this? That cast iron. I just don't know what this stuff is. Then I got this. What does this say? It says Pressed O Light Trademark. And it has a little swivel thing. And then I also got this belt buckle. And I got all of that for $11. And in this uh, cigar box, when I opened it, I saw it like this. And there's nothing special in these things. This is just like a, it says 1956. So this is from the 50s. It's a company, Quality Farm Bureau Products. Just some date book and some blank other things like that, a memo thing. Then it got some older tools, I guess. For some reason they're in here, and then this uh, little this ruler. And um, I don't think any of this stuff is worth anything, but it definitely looked interesting. And I mean, I'm a picker, so I, I'm in the market for interesting. Interesting stuff sometimes can sell. I found one example of this Bible on eBay. For, and it sold for $74 and in that one it came with a newspaper clipping from the time of an obituary so that might be worth something now while I was also at the same uh, flea market I, I bought this plate and this little artwork thing for three dollars all together from this fellow picker and thinking that it might be something but then he's like listen I know all this stuff and nothing here is a gold mine so when he said that, I was like, uh, uh, uh. so now I know in the future. But from this other guy, he buys box lots, he said, at those auctions. I found this, and it's brand new, as it appears. And it's from this company. And it's one of those model cars, and I got this for $7. He said, uh, 20 bucks, and I said, no, nah, I can't do that. And he's like, what are you thinking? I said, I'm thinking 7 and I just put out seven and he took it. So I think this was a good buy. I mean, I think I can maybe get 15 to $40 for this. Then, on the way home, stopping at a few garage sales, the last one that I actually bought something from, I found this uh, 80 gigabyte iPod. And 
he didn't couldn't confirm that it worked or anything, so I said he wanted ten dollars. I said, How about five dollars since I'm blind on this? And he accepted it. And it turns on and it'll charge up, but there's a there are slight problems with the headphones. You have to position it right to get it in both, and sometimes it does pause and you know get a little like zzz, you know. But I still think it has at least a thirty dollar to fifty dollar value thirty to fifty dollar value as is one sell for twenty five to fifty I think on eBay. So that was pretty interesting. And uh yeah so that's my that was my Friday of picking and first time at the flea market. I'm gonna get tomorrow at the the uh the Saturday flea market scene. I'm looking forward to that. I'm gonna get there bright and early so I can walk in at six and hopefully there's some stuff there. I'm gonna try to be more efficient now that I got my first one out of the way and uh, thank you so much for all the videos thanks for watching subscribe I'm gonna be posting a lot and about my experience as a rookie picker who wants to do this for income my goal is to reach a thousand dollars in profit per month in consecutive months this year and if you have any tips for me that would be great. <laughs> I would really appreciate that. Um, thank you. And I'll post other videos about my hits and misses and things I've learned so far and questions that I may have. And let's keep teaching each other. And I'll do my best to contribute to this community the best I can. Have a good one.